ओम शांति मुरली डेट सेवेंटीन फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन वन वे टू बिकम प्योर इज विद द पवर ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस एंड द अदर वे इज द पवर ऑफ पनिशमेंट यू हैव टू बिकम प्योर विद द पवर ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस एंड क्लेम अ हाई स्टेटस क्वेश्चन द फादर इज द स्परिचुअल सर्जन what type of patience has he come to give you answer just as those surgeons reassure their patients and give them patience saying that they will soon get better in the same way the spiritual surgeon also reassures you children children don't be afraid of any illness of maya the surgeon is giving you the medicine so that all of those illness come out thoughts you have never had on the path of ignorance will also come however you have to tolerate everything make a little effort your days of happiness are now almost here om shanti the unlimited father explains to all you children you have to make sure the message that the father has now come reaches everyone the father is giving you patience because on the path of devotion you called out baba come and liberate us and free us from sorrow the father reassures you that only a few more days remain when someone is recovering from an illness they reassure him that he will now be okay you children also understand that only a few more days remain in this dirty world and that too you will then go to the new world you have to become worthy of that then none of the illness etc will trouble you the father gives you patience and says make a little effort no one else can give you patience like that you have become tamo pradhan the father has now come to make you sato pradhan once again now all souls have to become pure some with the power of yoga and others with the power of punishment there is also the power of punishment the status of those who become pure with punishment will be reduced you children continue to receive shrimat the father says constantly remember me alone and all your sins will be burnt away if you don't stay in remembrance your sins will increase a hundred times because you have defamed me by becoming sinful souls people would say does god give them such directions that they have devilish behavior there are ups and downs children are defeated even good children are defeated and so their sins are not cut away then there has to be suffering 
This is a very dirty world and everything continues to happen here. You call out to the father. Baba, come and show us the path of the future new world. Baba knows that there is the old world on this side and that there is a new world on the other side. You are both. You are now moving along to become the most elevated human beings. Your anchors have been raised from the old world. You have to remember the home where you have to go. The father has said, By remembering me, your rest will be removed. There is either the power of yoga or the power of punishment. Every soul definitely has to become pure. No one can go back home without becoming pure. Everyone has received his own part. The father says, this is your final birth. People say that the Iron Age is still in its infancy. This means that people will become even more unhappy than they are now. You Brahmins of the Confluence Age understand that this land of sorrow is now to end. The Father is giving you patience. The father also said in the previous cycle, Constantly remember me alone and the rest of your sins will be removed. I guarantee you this. He also explains that the Iron Age will definitely be destroyed and that the Golden Age will definitely come. You receive this guarantee. You children also have faith. But because of not say, staying in remembrance, you perform one sinful act or another. You say, Baba, I become angry. That is also called an evil spirit. The five vices in this kingdom of a Ravan cause sorrow. The karmic accounts also have to be settled at the end. The illness of lust emerges in those who were never troubled by the vice of lust previously. They say, I never had such bad thoughts before. So, why are they troubling me now? This is knowledge. This knowledge makes all the illness emerge. Devotion doesn't make all the illness emerge. This is an impure, vicious world. There is 100% impurity. From being 100% impure, you now have to become 100% pure. From being 100% corrupt, the world has to become 100% pure and elevated. The father says, I have come to take you children to the land of peace and the land of happiness. Remember me and spin the world cycle. Do not perform any sinful acts. Imbibe the virtues that those deities had. Baba doesn't cause you any difficulty. In some homes, they have evil souls who set everything on fire and cause a lot of damage. At this time, 
all human beings are evil there is a suffering of karma in a physical way too souls cause one type of sorrow or another through bodies even if a soul doesn't have a body he can still cause sorrow some children have seen that which you call a ghost like a white shadow however you mustn't think about that the more you remember the father the more all that will end those are also karmic accounts daughters at home say that they want to remain pure it is souls that say this those who don't have knowledge say don't remain pure then there is a quarrel there is then so much upheaval you are now becoming pure souls those souls are impure and so they cause sorrow they too are souls they are called evil souls they cause sorrow with bodies and also without bodies this knowledge is easy you have to become spinners of the discus of self realization however the main thing is purity for this you have to remember the father with great happiness ravan is said to be evil at this time this world is evil they continue to receive many types of sorrow from one another those who are impure are called evil there are many types of the five vices in impure souls some have the habit of lust some have the habit of anger some have the habit of distressing others and some have the habit of causing damage those who have the habit of lust become angry and would even hit someone if they don't get it this world is like that therefore the father comes and gives you patience o souls have patience continue to remember me and also imbibe divine virtues he doesn't tell you not to do your business etc similarly those in the military have to go into battle they are told to stay in remembrance of shiv baba they take the words of the gita and believe that if they die on a battle field they will go to heaven this is why they go happily into battle however it is not like that baba now says you can go to heaven just simply remember shiv baba you have to remember the one shiv baba and you will definitely go to heaven whoever comes even if they become impure by going back they will definitely go to heaven they will experience punishment become pure and then definitely go there the father is merciful the father explains don't perform any sinful acts and you will become conquerors of sinful acts this lakshmi and narayan are conquerors of sinful acts then in the kingdom of ravan they also become those who commit sin the era of king vikram begins people don't know anything at all you children now know 
how Lakshmi and Narayan became conquerors of sin. It would be said, there were the number one conquerors of sin. And then, after 2500 years, the era of those who perform sinful acts began. There is a story of the king who conquered attachment. The father says, become a conqueror of attachment. Constantly remember me alone and your sins will be cut away. By becoming pure, you can erase the sins that you have committed over 2500 years and make yourself Sato Pradhan in this 50 to 60 years. If you don't have the power of yoga, you will receive a number at the back. The rosary is very big. The rosary of Bharat is special. The whole play depends on this. The main thing in this is the pilgrimage of remembrance. There is no other difficulty in this. On the path of devotion, their intellect's yoga is connected to many. All of them are the creation. No one can be benefited by having remembrance of them. The father says, do not remember anyone. Just as on the path of devotion, you simply used to perform devotion. So now, at the end, Remember me alone. The father explains to you so clearly. Previously, you, don't, you didn't know this. You have now received this knowledge. The father says, Break away from everyone else and connect yourself to the one. And with fire of yoga, your sins will be burnt. You have been committing a lot of sin. You have been using the sword of lust. You have been causing one another sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end. The main thing is the sword of lust. That too is in the drama. You cannot ask why such a drama was created. This play is eternal. I also have a part in it. You cannot ask. You cannot even ask when the drama was created or when it will end. A part is recorded in each soul. The plate of a soul never wears out. A soul is imperishable and has an imperishable part. The drama is also said to be imperishable. The father who doesn't take rebirth comes and explains all the secrets to you. No one else can explain to you the secrets of the beginning, middle, and end of the world. Neither know the occupation of the father nor of souls. The world cycle continues to turn. It is now the most auspicious confluence age when all of you human beings become elevated. In the land of peace, all souls are pure and elevated. The land of peace is the pure world. The new world is also pure. There is peace there. Then, when you receive a body, you play your part. You know that each one has received his own part. That is our home. We stay there in peace. We have to play 
our paths here the father now says on the path of devotion when you worshiped me in an unadulterated way you were not unhappy now that there is adulterated devotion you have become unhappy the father has now said adopt divine virtues so why are there still devilish traits you have called out to the father to come and make you pure so why do you become impure in that too you definitely have to conquer the main vice of lust and you will then become conquerors of the world people say of god he is a worshipper and he is worthy of worship that means they bring him down by such sins being committed the world has become greatly vicious in the garuda purana they speak of the extreme depths of hell where scorpions and lizards bite look what they have said and written in the scriptures the father has explained all the scriptures etc also belong to the path of devotion no one can meet me through those they have become even more tamo pradhan this is why they call out to me to come and make them pure which means that they are impure people don't understand it anything at all those whose intellects have faith become victorious they gain victory over ravan and go into the kingdom of rama the father says conquer lust there is a pebble because of this they say why should we renounce nectar and drink poison when they hear the name nectar they think that it emerges from the gau mukh cow's mouth the water of the gangas cannot be called nectar it refers to the nectar of knowledge a wife washes the feet of her husband and drinks that water considering it to be nectar if that were nectar she would become like a diamond the father gives you this knowledge through which you become like diamonds they have glorified water so much you give the nectar of knowledge to drink and they give water no one knows about you brahmins they speak of the kauravas and the pandavas but they don't consider the pandavas to be brahmins these words are not mentioned in the gita so they do not consider the pandavas to the brahmins the father sits here and explains the essence of all the scriptures he says to you children judge between what you have studied in the scriptures and what i tell you you know that whatever you heard previously was wrong and that you are now listening to that which is right the father has explained all of you are sitas devotees it is only rama god who gives the fruit of devotion he says i come to give you fruit you know that you experience infinite happiness in heaven at the time all the rest are in the land of peace they do receive peace there there in that world there was happiness peace and purity 
there was everything you explain that when there was just the one religion in the world there was peace but nevertheless they don't understand hardly anyone stays here at the end many will come where will where else would they go this is the only shop when a shopkeeper has good things to sell he has them at a fixed rate this is shiv baba's shop he is incorporeal brahma is also definitely needed you are called brahma kumars and kumaris you are not called shiv kumaris brahmins are also definitely needed how could you become deities without becoming brahmins acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point you have to imbibe virtues like those of the deities the evil sanskars you have in you such as the habit of anger etc have to be removed you have to become conquerors of sin therefore don't perform any sinful acts second point in order to become as elevated as diamonds drink and give others the nectar of knowledge to drink gain total victory over the vice of lust make yourself sato pradhan settle all your old karmic accounts with the power of remembrance blessing may you become a detached trusty and remain free from being confused by keeping your intellect free from the spinning of any consciousness of mind when there is any confusion in your intellect you can understand that there is definitely one or another type of consciousness of mind involved when there is any consciousness of mind the intellect goes into a spin when you think as a householder there is some upheaval therefore become a completely detached trusty any consciousness of mind my name will be spoiled i will be defamed to think in that way is to become confused then no matter how much you try to put it right you will become more confused therefore become a trusty and free from confusion god's children must never be confused slogan you are children of the great father and so do not allow your hearts to shrink or be afraid in trivial matters om shanti thank you baba thank you